how to fix issue unable to give project slash task information while submitting expenses for Oracle PPM cloud within Oracle Fusion expenses. So this is a specific issue I face as an employee. Now this employee called N Hamilton was a part of a project defined in Progress US uh, business unit and uh, she's simply trying to submit uh, her personal expenses against uh, the previously defined project but she's unable to do that so when she's submitting the expense details and trying to select the project it's not coming up in the list of values let me show you how let's understand the issue then we'll investigate the root causes of this issue and finally I'm going to show you the resolution for this all right so let me go to Oracle Fusion Cloud applications all right so here we are in Oracle Fusion Cloud so let me log in as and Hamilton I'm gonna give the password hit the sign-in button and uh, those of you who have just joined me uh, let me tell you that uh, presently we are in release 13 and version 21 D this is the latest version at the moment for release 13 all right I'm gonna close this and now I'm gonna show you the expense submission and the issue in expense submission all right so let me go to that me tab and uh, in expenses and here I'm going to create a new expense report all right so I'm gonna give some information over here so let's say reimburse air travel expenses give some detail say something like uh, zero one two zero double two okay payment method select as check agree to the terms and conditions and at this point I'm gonna save this so this will generate an expense report number so make sure you note down this ending with two six nine five three and then I'm gonna click on create item and here you see I'm gonna choose a type so by default it's gonna choose a date and I'm gonna choose a type as air which is for air travel related expenses and uh, I'm gonna give an amount over here let's say $500 okay and uh, I'm gonna leave all these things now and I'm gonna jump onto the right hand side to give the project number so our project is starting with something like 27 12 to 0 to 1 that's the project number we have and when I click on search it's not showing anything at all I try to enter part of the project it's not coming up I try to give the project description starting with DHS and that's also not coming up so the project is not coming up and that's the main issue that we are facing now let me login as the project manager I'm gonna log off so here I'm gonna simply save and close this particular record okay so it's gonna simply sit right here at the expense dashboard this one we'll come back to that so at this time we understood the issue I'm gonna log off and I'm gonna show you that this member and Hamilton is a part of that project that she's trying to submit the expenses for so I'm gonna log in as a project manager okay and I'm gonna go to the projects and then I'm gonna go into say project management And that's the project we have been working on so this is the project uh, description or project name but the project number is just this one 27122021 all right and here I'm gonna go into manage resources so manage project resources and as you could see N Hamilton is a confirmed resource in this project 
and it covers the present date so she is basically starting from 27 december 2021 and ending on 26th of december 2022 for one year period is covering so today's date is also covered and she should be able to submit her expenses so what's the issue so just to investigate a little bit further what i'm going to do is uh, let me go back to home requery the project so first thing we'll find out what is the business unit for the project so i'm going to go into say project financial management and here this is the project that we have been talking about so here you go and say view and in columns you look for business unit you see it is enabled now if you go and scroll on the right hand side you would be able to see the business unit which is uh, progress us business unit so this project belongs to progress us business unit now at this time i'm going to go back and uh, i'm going to query the details of n hamilton so i'm going to come out of uh, this project manager and i'm going to log in as the implementation user okay and i'm going to go to setup and maintenance and then pull out the user information i'm going to go to the user definition here i'm going to pull out and hamilton information okay have to enter a dot in between first name and last name so there you go you click on the user details and as you could see this user is attached to us1 business unit so basically the project is in progress us business unit and the user belongs to us1 business unit so this is what we have investigated so the root cause of the issue is quite clear that these two different entities belong to two different business unit so there has to be a way at a project level to allow something called as cross charge yes you heard it correctly cross charge is the setting that we have to do it at the project level to have this worked so i'm going to go back to the project definition so i'm going to come out of this uh, user definition And now I'm going to log in back again as the project manager, Brock Phillips. Give the password, hit enter. Okay, I'm going to go to the projects and then I'm going to go into project financial management. And I'm going to choose or click on the project that we are working on, which is this one. So you can clearly see this is the project name and the number is 27122021. Okay. And then you can go to the task menu and from here you simply go to manage project financial plan. And okay. Let me, this, this is not what I wanted to show you, hold on. So manage financial project settings. So this is where you have to go. Okay. And from here you go to the financials uh, tab and you can see allow charges from all provider business units is set to no under cross charge options so all you have to do is open that in edit mode and change that to yes so because of this the system is preventing charge from other operating units so n hamilton belongs to us1 
business unit whereas the project is in progress us business unit two different business unit and this setting is preventing that and hamilton who is from different business unit to cross charge to this project so you update that to yes and hit save and close okay so that is setting number one that you have to do this is at the project level and then if you recall in the expenses form wherein um, i was trying to choose the project there was also another field called as project task so you have to do the same update at the task level as well you that you wish the user to charge her expenses to so i'm going to click on done button here and then i'm going to go back here and i'm going to go to manage financial budget plan and then you see i'm going to go to task number four and expand that further so there are two tasks within that 4.1 4.2 and under task 4.2 i will simply go to view the task details so manage task and edit task details okay and then here you have a tab called as cross charge options and again you will make sure this checkbox is checked allow cross charge transactions from other business unit and and then you come down and hit the save and close button so this setting will also be saved and if these are intercontinental business units for example one is in france and one is in us or one is in uk or one is in us then you may want to also define a transfer pricing list in such a case you have to attach the transfer pricing schedule over here so for example in our case both are us so you don't have to worry about transfer pricing but if you have intercontinental one you see you must specify the tra transfer pricing and later on this will end up in generating uh, what you called as intercompany invoices okay so i'm going to leave this option off for the moment but i'm telling you just so that you have the knowledge as well now at this time i'm going to hit the save and close button and uh, i'm going to come out of this okay and now you have done the setting of cross charge updates at the project level and the task level task was 4.2 i'm going to log off now and i will re-log in as n hamilton there you go and now i'm going to go back to my expenses pull out the expenses that we have been working on which was this one and i'm going to go into the detail of expenses so this line expense item we have entered so i'm going to open that in edit mode and here i'm going to go and check for the project number so let's say here and i'm going to give just a part of the project like this hit the search button there you go it's appearing now earlier it wasn't appearing is it not so the root cause was the cross charge options that was disabled and the charge uh, task number automatically came because it's only this particular task that we have enabled for the cross charge if there were multiple tasks enabled then it would have given us a list of values of task to choose from you must provide something okay so there is only one and only one and then this is the contract number in other words the project related contract and funding source so basically this project is funded from a award grant and it's got a two funding source one is internal and external and you can choose where to build the cost of this project whether the external source uh, department of homeland security or the internal matching fund source so i'm going to choose an external source and hit the save and close button and then i will proceed ahead and um, hit the save button so this expense report has been saved now
and basically that's the way you fix this particular issue so I'm gonna hit the save and close button and the next thing is you go ahead and it's not submitted as yet you go ahead and submit this expense report and carry on further with the expense related audits approvals and finally creation of AP invoice and reimbursing the em employee via the AP payment and finally pulling the cost of this expense in the project costing so this is how you basically fix the issue of employee unable to choose project task at the expense level by enabling the cross charge options